Hey guys, I am back with another book haul. I feel like I just filmed one, but no, that was back in the fall. <laughs> Today I'm going to be showing you guys all the books that I received and bought in the months of November, December, and January. Don't know how to title this video because technically it's an end of the year and start of the year book haul, but anyway. <laughs> I'll figure it out but like always every month I'm gonna be starting with the books that were sent to me so I'm just gonna jump right into it. Meerkat Press sent me Into Bones Like Oil by Karen Warren. People come to the Angel Sea a rooming house near the beach for many reasons. Some come to get some sleep because here you sleep like the dead. Dora arrives seeking solitude and escape from reality. Instead, she finds the place haunted by the drowned and desperate who speak through the sleeping inhabitants. She fears sleep herself, terrified that the ghosts of her daughters will tell her it's all your fault, we're dead. At the same time, she'd give anything to hear them one more time. Wow. <laughs> That's the first time I read that synopsis and that sounds... Pretty sad. The next three books are from Candlewick Press and I'm super excited about them. That is Spindle and Dagger by J. Anderson Coates. First line says, this rich literary novel follows Ellen who must live a precarious lie in order to survive among the medieval Welsh war band that killed her family. And then they sent me Private Lessons by Cynthia Salisi? Salisi? Pretty sure it's like a forbidden romance or something between the student and her piano teacher. Next one that they sent me is Mermaid Moon by Susan Cockle. It's so beautiful. I'm obsessed with mermaids and anything water related as we all know. So I'm super excited that they sent this to me. Obviously it follows a mermaid and that's all I need to know about that. Next book was sent to me by Bloomsbury and that is The Gravity of Us by Phil Stamper. Last two books were sent to me by Harley Quinn. They sent me Season of Wonder by Rianne Thane and Coming Home for Christmas by the same author. These were unsolicited. That concludes the books that were sent to me in November. I am going to show you guys all the books that I bought. I went to a thrift store. I just popped in after work and the first one is not something I would usually pick up but you guys will see why I did it in a second. So it's just called Hearts. The spine is super faded so I don't think I can read that. I don't know if you guys can. It's just a book full of heart art. It's just things that have hearts on them. And the page that really sold it to me was this one. It's super beautiful and I like scrapbooking so I'm just thinking of just cutting out these pages and using them for scrapbook. And then I found an Archie comic. Next I found a book about shipwrecks. <laughs> Like I said, I love ocean stuff, so I had to get it. And that leads me to Hidden Treasures of the Sea. But yeah, it's so cool. And the last book I got at the thrift store was Germany, a photographic journey. Yeah, this is just pictures of Germany and I hope to visit one day maybe. So then I went to Target and I bought The Salt in His Kiss just because I saw the mermaid tail. I did read most of it. I'm on page 108. I just have this much left. The next three books were from an order that I made through Barnes & Noble. The only reason why I made that order was for this. We all know I have a Sergio Mass obsession. So I got the collector's edition of Akatar. It's so beautiful. <laughs> this is insane. I love it so much. It can finally join its siblings on my shelf. That is off camera. Next book that I added to the order was Blood Air by Emily Wen Zhao. I am just so happy that it's finally out in the world and I can support this author that had quite a journey towards publication. Well, the last book from my Barnes & Noble order is one that I didn't really want to buy and that is The Queen of Nothing by Holly Black. I don't like the ship. I have 
a lot of words to describe this and they're not good but the only reason I bought it was because I have the black versions of the previous two books in this trilogy so they have to match. And then I went to yesterday's books and I bought Shadow House book one. It's a super interactive series that I am hoping to collect before I start reading it. There's this website you go to watch videos as you read and then it unlocks some stuff. Everything is right there. The next book I found was A Madness So Discreet by Mindy McGuinness. And then I got Save the Date by Morgan Matson. The last three, well, four-ish books that I got were from Barnes and Noble. From the bargain section, I found Unbreak My Heart by Nicole Jacqueline. And then I got a notebook. I am so excited. This notebook is so beautiful. But you can feel each book and it's aligned notebook. It has an envelope at the end. Oh, it also has a ribbon bookmark one. Then I got the illustrated Emerson Essays and Poems by Ralph Waldo Emerson. Not really a fan of essays, but the only reason why I got this was for the illustration. It was super cheap, so I just decided to get it. And the last book that I got in November was The Fantastical World of Beasts mythical creatures and ferocious beasts. Yeah, it just has different type of monsters and everything. Pretty sure it's not Harry Potter. It's something else, but don't quote me on that. So yeah, next up, I'm gonna be showing you guys the books I received in the month of December. So most of December's books were birthday slash Christmas gifts, but I did receive a few copies from publishers. Harlequin sent me and now always by Mona Shroff. I was sent this part of a bookstagram tour and then this one came unsolicited from Amazon and that is Last Day by Luann Rice. This sounds pretty dark and I love it. I'm also seeing something oh <gasps> I did not open this, but I saw some gold peeking from under the jacket. <laughs> Just look at that. Wow. Both sides are like that. This is sick. Okay, I need to take pictures of this. It's a thriller about, I think, a painting goes missing and they have to find out who stole it. And there's murder involved. And then Wednesday Books sent me Word Dreams to Send by Janella Angeles. Oh my god, I'm so in love with this cover and it's so shiny right there. This is Moulin Rouge meets the Phantom of the Opera. Step right up to a spectacularly haunting debut novel infused with magic, mayhem, power, and passion. I'm so excited for this. It's unbelievable. Next up I have an arc from Page Street Books and that is the life and medieval times of Kit Sweetly. It follows a character that works at a renaissance fair and I'm so excited because I've been dying to go to renaissance fair. <clears throat> yeah anyway I'm actually part of the author's street team so she sent me a sticker that says joust like a girl and a shirt that says the same thing I'm so excited I can't wait to wear this the last book that I was sent in December was woven in moonlight by Isabel Ibanez this cover is pretty epic it just says a lush tapestry of magic, romance, and revolution, drawing inspiration from Bolivian politics and history. Next up, I'm going to show you guys the books that I was gifted for Christmas slash my birthday, since my birthday is three days before Christmas. All of these but one is from my friend Alicia, but I'm going to show you guys the book that she didn't give me. That is Bent Heavens by Daniel Krause. This was sent to me by Sue over at Beauty Book Corner. Thank you so much, Sue. I'm so excited. I saw this on her feed and fell in love with this cover. So next up, were gifts from my friend Alicia, like I said, and that includes Wait Till Helen Comes by Mary Downing Hahn, The Waking Forest by Alyssa Weiss, The Assassin's Blade, the Flex Bound Edition. I had to have this one because my favorite character's name is highlighted and that's Sam. And then she gave me Lying in Wait by Liz Nougat, The Agony House by 
Sherry Priest. This is like a book slash comic. I already started it, as you can see by my tab. I just have this much left to read. She also gave me Gyo by Junji Ito. I have Tomi by him, so I have a second Junji Ito collection. Love it so much. <laughs> this is horror manga, so it's kind of out there. And I don't know, I'm not gonna show you guys the drawing this at the front because it's kind of disturbing. <laughs> she also gave me her hardcover copy of The Assassin's Blade because I think like the first three or four books I have just in paperbacks and I'm collecting them in hardbacks and yeah she gave me her hardback. I'm so excited. And the last thing that she gave me was a pop-up book about sharks. I'm so excited. It's so cool. Wow. <laughs> but yeah it's sharks and other sea monsters. It's not just sharks. Oh, and I also got this one because she brought a box of books for us to choose from and I got this one just because it looks cute and I could probably use it in the future if I ever have a kid. But next up, I'm going to show you guys the books that I bought. I don't know what happened. I don't know why it looks like this now, but I got The Hidden Summer by Jin Phillips. I found all of these books at the dollar store. And then I bought The Missing Hours by Emma Cavanaugh. I also found Alliance by Mark Frost. I almost, I think I actually squealed when I saw this. Because I read the Paladin Prophecy when I was like in middle school or high school. And I remember being so in love with it. And then I never managed to read the other ones. Yeah, I found the second book and I'm pretty excited about that. I just need the first and third book. Then I found I'll Stay by Karen Day <laughs> and I love the series so every time I find a hardback version of this series anywhere I buy it <laughs> and I found The Curse of the 10th Grade by Dorinda Jones and this one isn't really a book it's just a coloring book <laughs> and that is etchings. Those are all the books that I bought and received in the month of December. I'm gonna fly through all the books that I was sent in January. The first book I was sent was Shadow and Stone by Melissa Wright. She sent this to me herself. Thank you Melissa. Harlequin sent me Secrets from a Happy Marriage by Maisie Yates. It was unsolicited, so I don't know anything about it. It also sent me this Sea Glass Cottage by Rianne Thane. Another unsolicited. I don't know the publisher, but it says Megan Beatty. But Freeform is coming out with What I Want You to See by Katherine Linka. Wednesday Books sent me Jane Anonymous by Lori Faria Stolars. It's about a girl who was kidnapped and held captive for seven months before she escaped and this is about her trying to fit back into the world after experiencing that trauma and i think she's also trying to find one of the other victims that were kidnapped alongside her sounds intense candlewick press sent me the mermaid the witch and the sea they sent me two mermaid books in the past few months and i I'm living for this. I'm so excited. Bloomsbury sent me Haven Fall by Sarah Holland. And then this book was sent to me by the author herself, who is a dear friend of mine. And I'm so excited. It's been years since I read anything by her. This is Fly for Both of Us by E. Maliberry. It follows a Star Trek nerd and a model. Now for the books that I bought. I went to the dollar store again this was a different one that i don't really go to often they had a lot of books that i wanted and apparently i bought this one again i had a feeling that i had already bought it but i wasn't sure yeah i have two copies of it now and then water john williams quillifer it's fine it's cool but the only reason i bought this was because it had a cool map it doesn't take much to convince me to buy a book <laughs> and then i bought another coloring book next is a cover by of course that is fox low by eleanor wasserberg we were the family fox low was our home why would anyone want to leave don't go outside don't let the bad in these are the rules of the secluded commune where a ragtag group lives under the watchful eye of their leader freya safe as long as they follow her rules and perform her rituals wow that sounds like a cult and then i found sycamore by bryn chancellor the first paragraph mentions that there's a person that stumbles upon human remains and that captivated me and then i found the adventurist by j bradford hips this book i'm pretty sure i already read in high school but that's 26 kisses maybe 
My lipstick can go in there somewhere. I'm just kidding. Then I found Crosstalk by Connie Willis. The next one is Life Animated by Ron Susskind. Imagine being trapped inside a Disney movie and having to learn about life, language, and emotion. Mostly from animated characters dancing across the screen of color. That sounds pretty interesting. I found The Risen by Ron Rash. A suspenseful and evocative tale of two brothers whose lives are altered by the events of one long ago summer. They meet a girl and then years later something reminds them of the girl. And then I found Press Play by Eric Devine. It's about a guy who captures footage of brutal and bloody hazing. I guess we will see if he releases the footage or not. And then I bought Shanghai Style a book about Shanghai decorations. The last book that I bought at the dollar store was Spark by Bridget Cameron. I never in my life would have imagined that I would find a Bridget Cameron book at the dollar store. I love Bridget Cameron. She's one of my favorite, favorite authors ever, which leads me to a book I bought from Barnes & Noble. A Heart So Fierce and Broken by Bridget Cameron. I love this book. This book is amazing. It's one of my favorite books ever. Oh, I'm so in love with it. This edition comes with fan art. There we are. I also got a little something from Fairy Loot, and that is another special edition of A Heart So Fierce and Broken. This one comes with a ribbon bookmark and holographic spine. It's signed. Following on with the trend of green covers, we have The Hand on the Wall by Maureen Johnson. There's only two more books in this haul left. I got this book in Target, Would Like to Meet by Rachel Winters, a girl. She has to convince one of her clients to, I think, make a meet cute type of movie. So she has to convince the client that meet cutes actually happen in real life. And the last book is, remember this guy right here? It's the same author. I was researching her and she has this book right here. And I completely fell in love with that cover and that spine and that back and those mermaids. I'm so excited. I can look at this cover for hours. All right. So that is it for this book haul. I don't know how many books are here. I'm going to have to count that before I make the thumbnail. <laughs> but let me know which books intrigued you. But thank you guys so much for watching this video and I can't wait to film a few videos that I have planned. Anyway, I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye!